Well, we've just arrived in Shelter Bay, which is close to Steep Point. It's been a mission in itself getting here. We've got the van in tow and two cars. We've had to actually swap the van over onto the cameraman's car, but what we're doing next is getting on this barge. This guy's getting off now, but we're waiting. We're gonna hop on and head over to Dirk Hartog Island, an island that's just rich with history throughout WA, some of the earliest European history that we've got in Australia over in Dirk Hartog. So I've got the kids, the whole family. I can't wait to get over there. Driving the barge today is Kieran Wardle. His family have been on the island for over 50 years. He's been running the island for 30 years himself. Since then, he's seen the island shift from a pastoral station to mainly tourism and national parks. After a bit of anxiety before we got on the barge, it was much easier than I expected. We've now got all the gear over here and it's time to explore. Well, we finally made it, Dirk Hartog Island. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! A bit of a mission getting here, but oh, totally worth it. So we've just got on the island. We're gonna go to the homestead now, find out more about the history of this place. And then we've got a great couple of days planned. We're going all the way up to Turtle Bay. It's an 80 kilometre long island. So we're going all the way to the top, all the way up near Cape Inscription and chill out on the beach for a couple of days. It should be epic. I can't wait. What do you reckon, guys? Yeah! <laughs> the homestead is an absolute island paradise. It's really rustic, but it's set up with everything you'll need in the most perfect bay with plenty of sea life out the front. I can find myself getting pretty comfortable here. This place has such a strong working history. Uh, to think it was actually a sheep station that started in the 1860s and ran till the early 2000s. Also, it's been a base for pearl trading and guano trading as well. So it's such a remote location. It's amazing to think that people actually worked out here. You can't beat walking around these old shearing sheds. I just love it. Love learning about the history of places like this. It's amazing. Well, this fence is a pretty interesting part of Dirk Hartog Island. It's part of the fauna management plan. This used to be a working station, so with that brought uh, goats, sheep, but also, like much of Australia, feral pests like cats. So they're trying to actually reintroduce small marsupials and get them thriving and bring the island back to what it was. It's called the Return of 1616 Project. So if you do come here, make sure you respect it and keep the gate shut once you come through. As much as I like the comforts of the homestead, there's plenty more of the island to see. We're heading right up to the northern tip to a place called Turtle Bay. It's time to hit the road. The tracks and corrugations over here are absolutely brutal, which is why it's so important to bring good gear. We're getting around in the Ford Ranger, kitted out with everything from ARB you could ever want and the Lumberjack Seville from George Day Caravans. It's doing it with ease. Well, we're getting pretty close now. It's been pretty hard work, I'll be honest with you. The road is really corrugated. The kids are hanging in there good. I mean, it's all worth it. When you get close to the end and there's just these white beaches, this real clear blue water and these just rugged cliffs, I can't wait to get there and set up camp. Well, we've finally made it. We're in Turtle Bay. How was the car ride? It was long, but it was worth it. <laughs> it was definitely worth it. Turtle nests in the background. Cape Inscription across the bay. I can see the lighthouse. Unbelievable. The place that Dirk Hartog landed so many years ago. I can't wait to go check that out tomorrow, but such a beautiful spot. We've just come down to the beach at Turtle Bay. The other kids are a bit tired, they're, in, they're tucked up in bed, but 
one of the best things you can do is come down and check out these rock pools at night. They just come to life. I've got little Molly here with me. We're looking around and we found octopus, there's shrimp, crabs, there's even a little snake up there. We came down to look for turtles. They don't seem to be out and about, but there's so much life to keep the kids entertained. Best thing you can do, get yourself a head torch, come down and check them out. They're just unreal. Well, this morning we've woken up in Turtle Bay. It's absolutely beautiful. It's what you'd expect. We're gonna make our way up to Cape Inscription. We really wanna get up there and, and check out the replica plate that Dirk Hartog left, the lighthouse. There's meant to be a house there and everything as well. So kids are really excited about that. We've unhitched the van. We're gonna leave it here. We'll come back, pick it up on the way back through and, and move camps tonight a little bit later, but super pumped. We're finally here. I've always wanted to come to this place. This is where Dirk Hartog left his inscribed pewter dish in 1616. 81 years later, Willem de Vlaming, he took that dish with him to Amsterdam and he left his own inscribed with Dirk Hartog's message up the top and his own underneath. Dirk Hartog's encounter was the first European encounter with mainland Australia that's ever been recorded. So to think how much Australia's changed in that time period and you come out here and all there is is a lighthouse and a little house, it's actually pretty mind-blowing that this place is as rugged and as raw and as natural as it would have been when they came here. What a great trip it's been so far in one of the most remote places in Australia. Stay with us next week as we wrap up our Dirk Hartog adventure.